Hey, what up? This is Brad here from Phone Ninja, and today I just want to show you a little trick that we found with many iPhone 4s which have front camera issues after repair. Um, this is something we found from customers who come in who've complained about their front camera not working. After we replace the front camera, which is always your go to and what you should definitely replace first, we have investigated further only to find some logic board damage. Alright. So, as per usual, we need to, on the iPhone 4, remove the rear cover. In this case, the two pen loaders have been removed, so we can simply push up, as I say, push up, and then pull out. So, now we're exposed to our internal components. The first thing we want to do any repair, as per usual, is remove the battery connector, which is this sucker over here. We want to, there is a, a screw to the left, we simply unscrew that. Leave our screw to the side, and then we just want to clip off the battery connector, like so. So with the battery connector off, so we no longer got power running to the unit, we can simply take off the five sh screws that are on the shielding on the top of the logic board. One, two, three, four, five. Now, for screws like this, you definitely want to arrange them in some kind of order that makes you remember where they, they come from. There is certainly one longer screw here, a few different sizes, so we, we want to make sure that they don't go back into the wrong, the wrong threads. One, two. Three, four, and finally five. Now with all the five screws removed, we can simply remove the shielding which will expose the logic board and the connector. There are two locating tabs around the battery, but generally with a, a slight wiggle and a tiny little bit of force, these will come off. Now with our three connectors exposed, one, two, three, we are basically looking for the SMD component right next to this first connector, so the, the most to the left connector. Basically what is happening is the f this uh, SD component is being chipped off when people, I believe, remove this connector. So you want to make sure it's there basically and it is there, there's no physical damage to it. So we simply remove the connector like so, pop that off, move it away a little bit so we can see. I like to remove the second connector, it just gives us a bit more room here and plus it's really easy. So off, there we go, two connectors. Now moving the logic board up to the camera, if we hold very steady we'll get a focus. You can see now that S and D component right there at the end of the screwdriver as a, it's a little bit right to the most left connector just the side of the RF connector there. Now in this case we can see that it's still there and it is there is no physical damage. However, here's one I prepared earlier. Joking, this is a customer's phone um, where we did actually see this issue. It's certainly not the first. We've seen a stack of them now. Let me just get these connectors off. So, 
So again, we've removed the two connectors. If you have a look now, it's a little bit hard to see with the with the phone focus. But again, we've got two pads here. We've got two pads here. They are just the pads. The SD component has been completely removed from the motherboard. Obviously, from this point, we would need to remove that component and put it back on. Uh, there are a lot of videos and diagrams on the internet which show uh, the technician simply bridging that part. Again, with any kind of uh, repair like that, make sure you do it at your own risk. Make sure you read into it. Make sure you watch the phone afterwards. We can definitely confirm that it does work at least temporarily, but long term, we're definitely giving no guarantees of a repair like that. So definitely, if you can, replace the component. It's extremely small, but it's certainly doable. Alright, well, hopefully this, this is your problem and this fixes the issue. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.